This is Paul. He owns and runs an IT consultancy and lives in the glorious countryside around Charlesworth. He's a very lucky man. He's looking for a new toy car, and we reckon we can help him find one. Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for being our car buyer. Now, a man looking for a toy car and not afraid to admit it. Yes, definitely. You have no shame about this. This None is for high all. days and holidays. One has to enjoy oneself. Well, one does indeed. <laughs> now, you already have a toy car. Yes, I do, yes. Um, an XJS right. Jaguar. Quite well, old, but This uh, is another classic. one. This is something a bit special in the garage to scoot up to France. In. Well, I've had that eight years now, so I think it's time to have a change. New toys. Yeah. You are. And a bit man. more reliable. You are a man after my own. <laughs> I thought we are going to get on. OK, we've got three absolute beauties, Pierre. And this right. is a dream assignment for us, because they're all lovely cars. First up, Corvette. Yep. 5.7 litre, V8, classic piece of Americana, well within your budget. Yep. What do you reckon? Seems very nice. Um, it's very big. Very comfortable. That's very the thing. red. The only thing about this is the left-hand drive. OK. But well, the power we'll... delivery is superb and it sounds gorgeous. Well, we'll see how you get on with it. Right. We'll see how you get on. I don't know. I'd, I think you might find the left-hand drive isn't such a problem when you've sampled that grunt. Right. Well, talking about grunt, our next car has got it too. Let's go and have a look. OK. So from a classic piece of Americana to a real true Brit, TVR Cerbera. Big, bad, mean. What do you think of it? Beautiful car. Uh, this is the V8, I understand, with the uh, four and a half litre engine, 350 brake horsepower. Sounds really nice. It looks the part. Now, I think, in an odd sort of way, this is as close as you can get to your Jag. Do you know what I mean? In that it's long and low and slightly sinister. Got a, yeah, you know I can I mean? see what I can see what you mean. It's it is about the same length. It's yeah. about as low. I mean, completely different um, in other ways, as you say. It's not made of metal, and it's a newer car. But somehow, it just reminds me of it. It could bias me a little. It's a bad boy car. You see, I think oh, we're it's learning a more. About car. It's a beautiful car. Beautiful <laughs> car. It is a stunning thing. Well, we'll find out what you think of the driver. That, but first, right. we've got our third car to meet, and it's a bit of a contrast. Smashing. And it is from Germany, a BMW Z3 M. Are you familiar with them? Yes, I'm uh, familiar with the brand. I've never driven one. I've driven the 1.9. Right. Um, which was a bit tame, to be honest. You're not smiling so... much when you see this. Right? Well, look, it's a completely different car to the right. 1.9. Honest. Well, you wouldn't bung you in an ordinary Z3 compared to these two. Right. Really. Well, it does promise astonishing power, yes, I must yeah, admit. And when they M it up, I mean, it's more than just a few tweaks. It's pretty significant changes. Right. Okay, well, you're going to find out for yourself because I've got in my pocket the keys, if I can get these. Now, I should tell you, these are the keys to Thank a you. brand new car. Right. There's a reason for this. We did have a used version, which you would get within your budget, but we broke it really badly. Sorry. Uh, so we're going to use this brand new one, courtesy of BMW, but it will at least give you a flavour of the car, yeah? I won't complain. Right, let's give it a go. Well, this is it, our first car, the yep. BMW Z3M. Now, you know the score, we get a drive. Admittedly, it's probably not as long with the car as you'd really like, and you don't get to True. really put it through its paces, but you have a go. Yes. Immediate impressions, what do you think of it? It's very tall. I, I think I mentioned to you that um, I've driven the 1.9 before. Yes. So this is uh, certainly a step ahead. An important part of all of this is we're looking at these cars. We know you're a sensible, mature, responsible businessman. Yes. <laughs> but you are buying a toy here. Yes. So it's got to look right, hasn't it? Let's be honest. Posing is part of this. What about the image of this thing? I think it says very sensible. Um, it relies on people knowing it's an M, I think. Yeah. And that would be a concern. It's pretty obvious at the back, I think. Four tailpipes looks really well. Um, I suppose it's discreet more than anything. I would not have bought one on the basis of the 1.9, so I'm quite pleasantly surprised by this. Oh, good. Well, it's probably been worth it having it in the mix today, just just for that, just to make you look differently in the car that perhaps you'd have written off without thinking about. Uh, on the plus side, again, with this is, because you occasionally like to romp off down to the south of France, don't you, and your wife together? Yes. Reliability-wise, not a problem. Well, that's it, of course. It's outstanding liability. Yeah. BMW, you just don't question it, do you? I'm sure about this colour, personally. No. Man, so, you never know. It could have been yellow. It could have been yellow. Could have been bright yellow. But well, Paul's test drive in our first car is nearly over, and whilst he enjoys the last few moments, Ian Royal has got more information on the car. So, Paul, we've picked out for you today a fine piece of Germanic engineering built by quality craftsmen in the south of Germany, in Munich, by BMW. It's the Z3M Roadster. 
except that it isn't built by Germans. It's built by the good old boys in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Yes, it surprises people that this car isn't built in Germany. And I was lucky enough a few years ago to go on a trip to the factory where they build the Z3s. Now, at the time, we'd only seen the 1.9 and the 2.8. There were rumours that there was an M version on the way, but we hadn't seen it until we wandered around the factory. And there was one lurking in the corner. Marvellous. So what do you get on this car? You get a straight-six engine, 321 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in just over five seconds, a top speed of 155 miles an hour. It's loaded with just about everything you would want, including an electric hood for when the sun finally shines. And what about prices? 40 grand new, but if you can put up with a pastel yellow one like this, 25,000. The Z3M uses BMW's renowned straight-six engine, 3.2, 321 brake horsepower with lots of tweaking from BMW's motorsport division.